Yeah, in early October we went down to Memphis to Sun Studios and Stax Museum and at Sun we were able to record uh, two songs, one being mine and the other Brenna Pfeiffer's and uh, hers was amazing by the way. The song of mine which was recorded at Sun was a duet. Um, it was more of a pop country uh, lyric with a more of a traditional country instrumentation um, and there was a little bit of Johnny Cash in there with a, a nice horn part. Every time I've recorded a song of mine, I've been the one, I've been the artist, the performer, the, the singer, um, as well as playing all in, or most instruments. But um, it, was, it was an interest, interesting experience having to let go and, and not having full control and leaving it in the hands of my, my peers. Um, so that was, that was a learning experience. Um, I felt like I was able to understand um, the side of the producer more so, and um, it it helped me gain a new perspective on recording of mu the recording of music and um, the process, and uh, really what it takes to make something good. Um, I mean, being in a situation like that, you really have to not necessarily know your place, but you have to be very conscious of others around you because it's not all about you. I mean, it's it's a team effort, and everyone matters and that's where the magic happens you know right. when we were at Sun Studio we had uh, the head engineer uh, Matt Ross Spang work with us he recorded us and then he also uh, interjected and began to uh, produce us he works with the best um, in that style I guess and just having him there to really push us and produce us made, made it all the more real as to where uh, the norm for today is recording digitally, um, it was an interesting experience as we recorded analog. Um, digital, really, that's, it's flawless, you can say, in some sort of manner, because um, you can redo, you know, you have, you have, you have do-overs, and um, you can do it part by part or as a band, and then overdub, and, and you can get everything perfect, but Analog captures the imperfection in us, and imperfection, in a way, is perfection. It's it's real, I guess. So you you get to see our flaws, and it's in the moment. It's the emotion that we were portraying in that point in time. The professors are going the extra mile. They really care. They're not here to just work from nine to five and then go do whatever, go do their own thing. They're, they're here because they want to enrich our lives. They want us to learn. They want us to become better people. Uh, they want us to become enlightened. And um, this experience has definitely shaped how I'm going to um, pursue my music career. Yeah, Dr. Dave, uh, he put this documentary together. He had a vision and um, he um, relied on us to carry it out. And it was just amazing that he put so much effort. He spent the last year really developing this idea. Um, the funds needed to be allocated um, and just planning and um, he really, he, he went many extra miles uh, for us and he just, it was worthwhile and I'm sure it was for him to see us grow. Being the, the pioneer he is, he loves doing things his own way. Um, he was really into getting hands-on experience rather than, you know, just the casual book work of the perspectives of jazz and rock and the history. So we went to see the history, therefore we got to go where a lot a, lo a lot of pioneering musicians have gone and we got to record where they went. I mean there's the Elvis X and then there's also you know where Elvis stood when he recorded his tunes and then there's the the cigar burn on the on the piano from Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, it was definitely surreal. I, I gotta say, it was the, it's the single most uh, pleasing experience in my musical career. I hear you guys are gonna get vinyl copies. That'll yeah. be amazing. That'll be neat. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm gonna, you know, well, play it and then I'm gonna put it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Have my own little not so platinum record. <laughs>